Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenaji and the husband. Awesome. So it's the third and final video for this week's final video lineup with him. Awesome. Come on, come on, of course, you know. But for this week, this is all. And uh, today he's going to be showing us. What are you going to be showing us? It's a Kosem special. I'm not sure if you really make it call it. Actually, you made it once. I made it once. And, and it was real good. And I invented it kind of off the cuff. It's um, fish. Make a salsa, salsa it, like, like a cooked fish ceviche. I don't know if it's real to make a call it, but you'll see as we make it how it comes out in the end. Yeah, it's actually pretty delicious. And it's pretty, you know, you can eat it almost anything. So, so yeah, so he's going to be showing that. So we call it fish salsa ish ish. Fish chook. So it's fish salsa ish. <laughs> Can you tell us a little more Kosem about special. it? I think it's very simple, so you just go very through simple. what kind of fish you use it. Well, basically any uh, fish fillet. You can use any kind of fish you have. Um, fish I'll recommend, you use snapper, um, salmon, trini salmon, any softest fish that normally you know, like mashes up when you're cooking it. Okay. Like, this is actually a fish called triple teal that I caught, but it's similar to the snapper, similar texture. Like I said, snapper, even tilapia, if you have this, you can use it. It's a great way to stretch one piece of fish. Like if you have one piece of fish, only, you can stretch it to maybe three or four people. And it's an easy thing, like you can't go wrong. The fish mash up, that's the whole point. You'll see how it goes. What well, put in it, like why? Um, right. The fish, I mean, you can go crazy with it, but the basic ingredients I put in is well, garlic, onion, tomato, pimento, some shadow benny. Um, you could train some, I might train some sweet pepper. She doesn't really like the sweet pepper so much, but any veggie you have, you can add it in it. So it's like fresh seasoning in it. Fresh seasoning and fresh veggies, but you're cooking it in a, you're cooking the fish first, and you're throwing the veggies after for him to retain some of the freshness and crispness. Yeah, it's like a, a And of fish. course you need some lime juice. So it's like a cooked fish ceviche for Cooked really. fish ceviche. Basically, yeah. if you all never had that one up real good, so we should probably do a video on that. Simple. Ceviche, yeah. So yeah, so let's get into this video. He just gonna show us real quick. He gonna see the hands, because it's real simple. Yeah, first sure part is cooking. slice some of the fish into small pieces, season it, and then set it aside. Yeah. Pretty simple, straightforward. So let's start cooking. He's in the kitchen, he's in charge. Alright guys, so this is the fish, one filet. We're just gonna slice it up into smaller pieces. So small as in how small? You'll see, it's pretty small because like I said, it's like a fish salsa. And let's just take this piece for example. It should be boneless, of course, guys. So if you have a filet, make sure and peel for any pin bones or anything like that. Um, make sure and cut it out. Like I said, this is the slice here, this is the powdery size you're going to do it. Like I said, small, cutting it up into smaller pieces, like just about that. That small? That's big. <laughs> That's going to be like chunky chunky. I mean, you can cut it up small if you wish, but this is, like I said, the fish is pretty soft. You don't want to get it too, too small because it'll just end up into nothing. Gotcha. Right, so like I said, you're always feeling for any bones, you don't want any, any bones in the fish when you're cooking this particular. So you're just going to slice up this yeah. whole thing. Like I said, it's a great way to stretch the fish. This is one filet and you'll see how much we can get out of it. So the fish is cut up into cubes, maybe I'd say like half inch, half inch, half inch by half inch. And we're going with the seasoning, we have some all purpose. So we have all purpose, we have garlic powder. You season as liberal or as minimalistic as you want. And we have some paprika, as Jenergy says, to give it a little color. Now the octopus has the salt in it, but at the end you can always taste the salt after it's finished and see if you have to add some more. And we're also going to put some fresh green seasoning at the end when it's almost finished cooking. Remember, I didn't cut this fish too small because it's a pretty soft fish, so I left it. You could cut it smaller if it's a tougher fish. And he has some onion and chopped up garlic here, and I kind of used my hands and helped out a little bit. Up the process so cook the sweet fish. pepper pimento onion garlic and tomato so now he's gonna cook the fish just drop in any onion garlic aromatics as we call it The fish is cut so small, it's going to cook pretty quickly. Maybe about a minute and a half on each side. Minute. And we keep on filling it when the fish gets white, so it's cooked. 
to je smášák a obed, a to ty... A to je asi to, co se zase bude koupit, co je jiný olive edge one time. Olive, tomáto, si takhle... Alex, onion, tomáto. Alright guys, that's it basically done. Finished product, we just added the lime juice. Go nice and generous with that. And there you have it. Fresh fish. Salsa ish. Salsa bull joel. It's gonna be rinky dinky dink. We don't know what we want to call it, but trust me, it's delish. Smell it. Smell it. Awesome special. Smelling good. Alright, it's already. Taste it. Well, you see how easy it was, right? Yeah. It took us how much? Like. Two minutes. Ten minutes from start to finish. Like, I'm about Stop dribbling, girl. I'm eating just now. Just tell them the process. <laughs> so easy. Cook any fish first. Throw any veggies. Just somebody fit when the fish is finished cooking. And the last step is to throw in that green season. When that green season hit that, that smell. Oh, I'm outside of this. Oh, Sally Beans. So now, eat this with anything. We're trying with today is. Cricks. Supply. Cricks. I was going to make salad roti, but I don't want to work. I don't want to make myself a little closer. You can make it with your right. I don't know. Now, at this point, you need salt and then you can add salt or more lime, anything. But let's give it a try. It's like a nice um. Okay. It is very good. It's like a remember a bull job with all the salt fish. It's like a fresh yeah, fresh fish. Yeah. Is, so you know, a better option. And it's a kinda of similar way because that's how we we cook the bull job. But it We're using fresh fish again, not mm -hmm. fresh fish taste, the healthier option. I and mean, the is like a nice munch, you kinda of oh, yeah, nice one. We only going down with it. Fish mash up in the end, but that's always happening. I think that's what I like, but kinda of Yeah. So like I said, any saw fish. It's not like chunky fish. Can you catch it on? So, hope you guys enjoyed this fish, fish salsa-ish video. Post M fish special. <laughs> post M, post M. What? Fish choker, fish choker, fish salsa, fish bowl jaw, fresh fish, something. Yeah, something. easy way to cook fish. But try whatever we, whatever it is called. Try. Any kind of fish you have, if you have one fillet, you just remain in the fridge. You want to stretch it. Anything you have, like I say, even tilapia, white fish you buy in the grocery, snapper, salmon, crocro, any fillet you have, make sure it's boneless and cook it up in this way. So something else for you all to try, Kosem style. So he made the what was the first video again? Guacamole. Guacamole, right? So that was the first uh, guacamole. French toast, and now you all have to try this dish. Try it out for sure. It's a nice little snack, like a movie night, something, yeah. something to munch on. Or I, sure, try it I out. might actually eat this for lunch. Carry it in a wrap. You know, it's yeah, like a, true. If you have a salad roti, fry bake would be pretty good with this. Yeah. All right, so, so it's all wrong dish. Hope you guys enjoy these three videos with him in the kitchen and showing us some of his dishes. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, comment down below and he will try to re reply or I will reply to them. If you make anything, send the picture, you know, it would be nice and to see. And of course, see. yes, send the picture. So these recipes are all up on my website. You guys can check it out. The link will be posted in the description box, so be sure to check that out. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and your family. Of course, if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up for sure. So I'll have him again in the kitchen some other time for our next video schedule. Some more unique dishes to come. We shall see. So we shall see how that goes. But thanks as always for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed this. I will see you all in my next video.